Some years back, along with the writer uh, Suzanne Winkler, uh, 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 we received uh, the Lang Taylor Prize, a grant from uh, Duke University, uh, to do a documentary project. And the project I wanted to do was on the poorest and blackest uh, county in the United States. And at that time, uh, it was Tunica County, Mississippi. Uh, the poverty uh, rate was uh, staggering. Uh, it was agriculturally uh, based. Uh, so I went and spent uh, about a month um, in Tunica County. Uh, most of it's cotton fields. Uh, it's not that way today, but back then it was. And when a guy like me shows up in a beat up Volvo station wagon, they either think you're a drug enforcement guy uh, in the African American community there, uh, or you're up to some kind of no good. So what I did was go to the church on Sunday in a, a cotton field and uh, introduced myself around, and people were very, very nice. Next door was an abandoned house, and this man lived in the abandoned house. The name of the photograph is Raymond, uh, which is his name. And after church, Raymond and I got to talking, uh, and um, he had all these kittens, and they were crawling around on him. And he'd had a, shall we say, a checkered life. He lived alone, uh, um, all the things you can visualize for yourself. When I was watching all these kittens crawl on him, and he said they were my, they, he referred to him as his family. That was his family, because he was more or less shunned in that community for a lot of reasons. Uh, so I made this uh, photograph, which to this day is a pure documentary photograph, and to this day is one of my favorite things I ever made. Uh, and one of the loveliest things that ever happened in my small world was uh, I got a letter from the cleaning lady at the Museum of Photographic Arts in San Diego, and she wrote in pencil, and she said that every morning, this, this photograph was apparently up, uh, they, it's in their collection. She said every morning before she cleaned the museum, she would stand in front of it and uh, how much she uh, appreciated it. And I thought at the time, and I don't mean to be maudlin, but you'd probably think the same thing. That was a nice letter. That was something that sort of counted. <laughs>